Muslims and health. Health problems are increasing. People are being diagnosed with more and more illnesses every year. And it's interesting that people are getting sick from eating. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created food so that we can get nutrients out of it, so it can improve our health, so it can give us energy. So how can it be that something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put on earth to improve our health is actually damaging our health? And the plans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never backfire. So that means then that the problem must be from the way we're consuming food and the amounts of food that we're consuming. So what we're consuming and how much we're consuming. Eat, drink, and do not go in excess. Verily, Allah does not love those who excess. Perhaps the first problem is how much we're eating. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not design our bodies to consume all the kinds of food and the amounts of food that we're consuming right now. For example, biologically, you only need to eat meat once a week. But we eat meat every single day of the week. And sometimes more than once a day. And we're offended if there's no meat at the table. So what happens? We were not designed to consume so much meat. And the result of this overconsumption, we get all kinds of illnesses. Gout, for example. You get gout when you overdo, when you ex eat too much meat or too much seafood, or you consume drinks that have been sweetened with fructose. All these are things that could lead to people having gout. So we were not designed to consume that much. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned this in a hadith. You fill one third of your stomach with food, one third with drink, and then one third you leave it for air. We mentioned the hadith like this is the, the minimum. The hadith begins when a Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the human being, son of Adam, has not filled any vessel. There's no container that you can fill worse than your stomach. Meaning, the worst thing you can fill is your stomach. Sufficient for the son of Adam are a few bites to sustain him. Just a few bites to keep you going. If there's no other way and you have to, then a third for your food, then a third for your drink, and then a third for the air. So the hadith is mentioning this as the maximum that you can do. We mention it as if it's the minimum. Yeah, just start with that. No, that's the end. If you have to, there's no other way. Is that how much we consume now? Is that how we eat? How many of us today eat just a few bites to keep us going? Basically, you eat to remain alive. You eat to live. But what happens? We live to eat. And so as a result of that, all kinds of illnesses arise. We're supposed to consume just a little bit to contain us. But we eat so much and if there is just a little bit of air left in our stomach, we become uncomfortable. And we search everywhere for a grape, a banana, something to fill that little gap with. So, we get ill because we overdo the amounts of food that we eat. 